I know you have heard this a lot, uh, especially if you asked anyone about any advice in watercolor. Don't overwork your paintings. Ah! Well, don't. Don't overwork it. Uh, you will lose your freshness and freshness and looseness of your watercolors, and it's just, it's just not good. It's bad, bad guys, bad. You can risk ruining your paper. That would just be really, really annoying. Two, you risk getting muddy colors. That's so annoying when you have all those beautiful colors, and suddenly it disappears and gets all muddy and weird. So. We don't want muddy colors if we can avoid it. Three, you risk loosening the white of your paper. And uh, white in watercolor is super important. And if you just uh, keep going, you will uh, at some point lose the whiteness of your paper. So that was three reasons why you don't want to overwork your colors in watercolors. Watercolors. You don't want to overwork them. Don't, just don't. No. But don't worry, there's actually a lot of ways to avoid overworking your your art pieces. And in a few seconds I'll tell you about it, but first I just want to encourage you to hit the follow button or subscribe button or it's somewhere around here so you know when there's a new video out. Okay, now I'll help you <laughs> when I get rid of this cat because she just jumped on my chair. Say hello. Hello. Stop. Fixing mistakes. That's first. If you've uh, made a mistake on your paper, and uh, I promise you we all do, if stuff bleeds or if there's a, a bloom or whatever is going on, try to just incorporate it and embrace it instead of fixing it. Uh, you can fix it, of course, if it's still wet, you can lift it up, but usually it uh, dries a little and you'll just really ruin stuff if you uh, trying to fix something that is drying so well don't, don't do that another great tip is to stop when you are about 80 percent done with your painting it can uh, be frustrating and hard um, but oftentimes we when we uh, stop before we actually feel like it's done when we come back to it in the morning it's actually done because we can we we can kind of have to see it with fresh eyes before we can actually see if it's done or not. So wait till it's 80% done and uh, step away from it. Put down the brush and step away. And that leads me to the next advice, which is quite obvious, sleep on it. If you're in doubt, go take a nap. And uh, preferable the nighttime nap. So you actually put it down and come back to it tomorrow. Often it helps a lot to just sleep or go for a walk if you uh, if it's like in the morning, but sleep on it. And if you really want to paint something else, then paint a, a different painting. Then you can have one or two or three uh, going. I do that and uh, it's super effective. Another tip is to not fuss over details. If you're just going on and on and on and on and like, oh, I could need a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you you will at some point overwork this uh, so just uh, try to stop yourself I know it's hard I have a lot of trouble stopping myself if I just feel like it needs a little bit more try to stop yourself um, especially if you are just adding details all over the place add details where you want the viewer to, to look and then step away and the last advice that me and my cat will give you is to not stop too soon. Don't be afraid of overworking. Um, I know I made it sound bad, and it is. You can uh, risk ruining it a lot, but please don't be afraid of it. If you follow the steps that I told you, I'm pretty sure you'll do great. And uh, watercolors do need layers, so please don't be scared of doing layers. I heard this from a lot of beginners, that they were scared of of layering their colors and uh, deepening them because they were afraid of overworking. But please don't. You you really need to deepen your colors even if it means layering your colors. It's watercolors after all. They are transparent so if you only do one layer <laughs> it might be fresh. It hasn't got those deep vibrant colors. So please stop worrying and just 
do some uh, some layers and uh, you'll know when you're around that 80% done and you'll just step away. And if you want uh, more advice for beginners, I have a masterclass for beginners and you can find that in uh, the link below the video. I would love to see you in there and uh, share a lot of tips with you. So hopefully I will see you there or otherwise I will see you in the next video. Bye.